Hi! Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Muli ay magkasama tayo ngayon sa second iteration ng ating free weekly webinar. I'm your host, Jet Ramos, Training and Communications Manager of JFE Teacher Training Services and JFER Training and Development Services. Ngayon po ay magkakaroon tayo ng isa na namang learning session na tiyak na ikatutuwa ninyo at kagigiliwan ninyo because this is for all of us and this is perfect for the new normal. But before I give two announcements, next week po ay magkakaroon tayo ng another free weekly webinar, this time about research. Tunghaya natin. And second, please do not forget the password for the certificates. Makikita niyo sa screen. So be alert, please. Do not uh, make, okay, do not be slow. So check it out. And third, don't forget to sign in the attendance by clicking on the link below because no attendance, no certificate. So nagkakintinda po sana tayo and I hope that it would not uh, make us, okay, it would not make matters uh, worse. By the way, I believe that everything would be fine especially with this person. At ipakikilala ko na siya sa inyo. She's the external assessor of the Expanded Tertiary Education Equivalency and Accreditation Program or ETEEAP of Arellano University and she's currently the head of the Center for Student Affairs and Services and chair of the Faculty Development Program of Philippine Academy of Sakya, a Chinese Buddhist basic education institution in Tondo, Manila. She's also a part-time lecturer at the Florentino Caico Memorial Graduate School of Education at Arellano University, handling research methods, psychological testing and assessments, and other psychology core courses. She's one of the founding board of trustees, a fellow, and currently the treasurer of the Philippine Educational Measurement and Evaluation Association, or PEMEA, a professional organization of educators researchers, teachers, and assessment, measurement, testing, and evaluation practitioners. She holds a PhD in educational psychology with specialization in human learning and development, an MS in educational me measurement and evaluation from De La Salle University, Manila, as an FAPE, DLSU, IEMES scholar. She's a registered psychometrician and their fields of interest are in psychological testing, educational and psychological research, program evaluation, counseling, educational supervision, and human resources. She is also one of the board of trustees and the head of the human resources department of the family owned corporation. The benevolent manpower and consultancy services located in Valenzuela City, Metro Manila. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you my very good friend, my mother in the educational field, Dr. Belen Manyo Chu in the house. Okay. Thank Magandang you so much, po. Teacher Jeff. How are you? Oh, I'm Mommy good. Belen, Dr. Chu. Yeah, okay. That's great. Good. Thank you so much. Like it is. Thank you for your very kind no introduction. Worry. Oh yeah, it okay, fits you. So, it absolutely fits you. So, yeah, how I'm, are you today? I hope you're ready. I'm feeling good. I, Alam mo, hindi kita talaga mapahindihan eh. When you invited me to be <laughs> one of uh, the resource persons. Who would ever refuse a very kind-hearted person? <laughs> By the way, big, big <laughs> I would also like yeah. to greet Sir JC, do. Uh, alam nyo kayong dalawa, yung kayong, you're very accommodating and very endearing. So, Jaffer, it's so blessed to having you guys. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, mag, para kami mag-aman yan po eh. Yeah. Okay, so I would also like to greet our participants. 
for tonight's webinar. A pleasant evening po sa inyo lahat. I hope you're all feeling good despite the negative vibes that we are all facing during this difficult time of the pandemic. Okay, so ito mga past five months natin, di ba? Uh, we suffered tremendously. Not only us, but millions of people around the world. So many lives Even were millions. lost. Yeah, so many of us. Our loved ones got sick. So many grieved and are still grieving. Not to talk about the jobs. Marami na wala ng trabaho. Yeah. Okay, so, well, I, I, I believe uh, a lot of our participants are teachers. They're educators. Yeah. Okay, most so, of them, for sure. Most probably, yung kanilang mga school, nag-suffer din, ano? Just like yeah, in the two schools probably. that I'm connected with, we really suffered from a decline in the enrollment. Yeah, totally understandable. Okay, so, uh, there are a lot of teachers, yes, who were asked to leave, to take a leave for absence, so, leave of the absence without pay. Kasi nag-decline talaga yung enrollment. Okay, so talagang the economy had its biggest flaw. All businesses were badly yeah. affected. Yun. Uh, sandali lang po, yeah. Mami Belen. Um, ano, talagang tiyak yes. na matutuwa ang ating mga manonood ngayon. So, the floor is yours. Apa, bring it okay, on. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much, Teacher Jet. Nope. Okay. So, allow me to proceed to my presentation. And, uh, of course, my topic title is... COVID-19 and well-being, hoping the new normal for teachers. Sabi nga ni Sir Jet before, baka daw blockbuster ito. For a long Kasi nga po, buhay natin ang ating pag-uusapan. Yung well-being natin. Okay, actually my presentation is not tailored fit to us teachers, no, but rather to everyone. Regardless who you are, what profession you may have, or what your status, what your status you have in life. Filipino ka, Americano ka, Chinese, we are all affected by this pandemic. Uh, so this is for us, mothers, fathers, sisters, okay? Um, may I request Sir JC to please proceed to the next slide. Sir JC. Okay, thank you. Okay, so with the COVID-19 pandemic impacting our everyday lives, we are all facing a lot of new challenges. The here and now and even our tomorrow all seems to be very uncertain. I'm sure we all have a lot of stories to tell the last four or five months when this unseen enemy called COVID-19 disturbed and even claimed so many lives all over the world. It's so sad. Well, actually, we Filipinos are known for our resiliency. Whenever there are disasters or calamities that confront us, we do easily recover, be it physically, emotionally, psychologically, and economically. Okay, so it's a need to experience natin before at napatunayan natin, nalampasan natin kahit anong meron trahedya ang dumating sa atin. Mapabagyo, mapabaha. I remember the Ondoy, the Yolanda, the volcano eruptions ng Taal, mayon volcano, or even yung asphalt ang pinatubo, even yung mga earthquakes, mga sunog, mga fires, no? We all had witnessed how we Filipinos coped 
and moved on. We recovered from our losses, not only in terms of physical, financial, and even that of psychological and emotional aspects in our lives. But come to think of it, this pandemic, my, my goodness, ibang dating sa akin. And perhaps sa inyo rin pong lahat, mga teachers, ano po ba? Well, I remember my eldest sister, who is already 90 years old. She narrated to me how much pain they experienced hunger during World War II. They suffered tremendously, physically and emotionally. Well, of course, I wasn't born yet. Kasi siyang eldest, and I'm second to the youngest. And that time, according to her, they were able to survive the war, as she and our five more siblings would hid underground together with our mothers as my father joined the guerrilla warfare fighting the Japanese Imperial Army. At times he said they almost succumbed to death, not because of hunger, but because of fear from the Japanese. What they did was just to stay under the ground. But this time, according to her, it's extremely different. Iba raw manakot itong si COVID-19. You just do not know when you will be attacked. Biglaan kapag inabush ka, you'll be surprised that you already have the virus. Asymptomatic kasi. Well, and sin enemy nga. And to our belief, it is much more difficult because the enemies before were visible. Unlike this time of the pandemic, the COVID virus is invisible. And so the only way not to be infected with a virus is to stay home. We are staying home and we are still staying home. We are also asked to observe some social or physical distancing. Hence, this is CQs. MCQs, GCQs, and DCQs became very inevitable. Next slide, Sir JC. So let's start. Uh, I-level up muna nato yung mga ibang terms, ano? Uh, okay, so let's see the difference between well-being and wellness. A well-being can be defined, as you can see in the monitor, three into three perspectives. It can be defined based on the prevalence of positive attributes, the absence of negative conditions, and the pursuit of life satisfaction. Okay, let's go back to the prevalence of positive attitude. Well, it refers to uh, searching as good health, peaceful community, comfortable life, happy family, contentment, happiness. Say whatever it is, as long as it is positive. Everything that is positive. Okay, so the next one is the opposite. It's an absence of negative conditions. Okay, so what are these negative conditions? Absence of negative conditions. Uh, such as walang sakit, walang problema, hindi gutom, walang bagyo, walang kaguluhan. And the third one, it is a tendency to aim for a favorable attitude towards a comfortable life. Well-being embraces more than just physical health. It takes into account the entire person, both body and mind. It does not only mean the absence of illness, but includes the positive mental states of emotions and moods. However, well-being refers to more, uh, rather, well-being also refers to more holistic, all of life experience. 
it is a state recognized by our health, happiness, and prosperity. It is far more comprehensive than health or wellness. On the other hand, wellness refers to physical health, a state of being healthy in body and mind as a result of a deliberate effort. Experts viewed wellness through the lens of physical health rather than mental and emotional health. So in short, while well-being includes wellness, you cannot have one without the other. Food is well-being, and it's one of the ingredients. One of the ingredients is wellness. Okay, so next slide. Okay, so the coronavirus impact on well-being. Now, in my presentation, allow me to only touch these three dimensions. As you can see on the screen, there are only three, which uh, has to do with mental well-being, physical well-being, and the social well-being. However, there are a lot more. As you can see on the screen again, there are five. Uh, included the psychological, the economic, the environment. Okay, but again, I will repeat, I will only be touching on the three aspects, the physical, the social, and the mental well-being. Next slide, Sir J.D., please. So, how COVID-19 affects our health and safety? As we all know, coronavirus or the COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus. This was unknown before the outbreak began in Wuhan. Well, of course, Wuhan is in China. It really causes respiratory illness ranging from the common cold to more serious infections. And in severe cases, it can cause pneumonia. Severe acute respiratory disease and kidney failure. The most common symptoms of COVID, as everybody knows, are fever, cough, respiratory symptoms, shortness of breath, difficulty in breathing, chills, sometimes diarrhea, there are muscle pains, the loss of taste and smell. Next slide. The question is how long does the coronavirus last? Okay, the person who acquired COVID-19 would normally start on the first day with fever and fatigue muscle pain, and a dry cough. It's just like you're having a flu. During the second day, there is difficulty in breathing. And then after five days, those with continuous difficulty of breathing has to be brought to the hospital for, for the oxygen. The following day, on the eighth day, the patient will have an acute respiratory disease. On the 10th day, there is a possibility if the patient will react to the medication, the fever will subside. On the 13th day, the shortness of breath stops. On the 18th day, those who were not able to survive, of course, death will come. And for those who are lucky, on the 22nd day, the illness finishes. My God, ang tagal natin sa hospital, no? Kung tayo ay magkakaroon ng COVID. Kanya nga, sabi nga eh, health is wealth. Okay, so yung pinaghirapan natin, maaring maubos because of this COVID. Next slide, Sir JC. Let's now talk about the preventions and interventions. 
A lot of responses and challenges continue to develop during this COVID-19 pandemic. While the world is focused on beating the virus, the crisis itself creates effects on our lives, particularly that of our mental health. There are a lot of impacts on our mental health. Medical experts all over the world, including, of course, the World Health Organization, which primary role is to direct international health advisory within the United Nations system and to lead partners in global health responses, came out with the policies and guidelines, which included, of course, the following. As you can see again in the monitor, or rather on the screen, Number one is avoiding direct contact with people who have fever or flu. Covering nose and mouth with a tissue or anything, except for your hands, of course, when it's dizzying and coughing. The right way to protect others from catching the virus is to use flex elbow. Another guideline is avoid touching the eyes, nose and mouth, with unwashed hands, wash hands thoroughly with soap and water, rub hands with alcohol regularly, dispose use tissue, the face masks that you just wore, your hand gloves in the covered bins after each use immediately. We are also asked to avoid crowded areas and if possible, stay home. And should you go out for errands or you report to work, we are also asked to observe the four feet or at least one meter physical distancing. Next slide, Sir JC. Now let's proceed with the social health. So how do we define social wealth or social well-being? It is a pain when we have good relationships, social stability, and peace. Ang sarap talaga mabuhay, ano po, kung ang lahat ay kasundo natin. At ganun din naman, kasundo rin tayo. Wala tayong kaaway, so we are all in harmony. Social awareness refers to the ability of the person to be free from want of basic needs and to exist peacefully with people surrounding you. Let's ask ourselves now, are we all at peace with our family members, with our neighbors, with the community in general? Do you still remember the song entitled, No Man is an Island? Well, the song goes like this, well, I'm not gonna sing, kasi hindi maganda ang boses ko, no? No man is an island. No man stands alone. Each one's joy is joy to me. Each one's grip is my own. We need one another. And there's another song that I remember every time I go to church, this Alay Kapwa, which goes like this. Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Walang sino man ang namamatay para sa sarili lamang. Well, these songs practically remind us that we are mutually dependent. We rely on others as they also rely on us. So therefore, social wellness or health means the ability also to follow the rules and the laws of the society. So hindi lamang yung pagkakaroon ng harmony na magandang relationship with the others, but we should also follow the laws and the rules. Like for example, during these difficult times, we want so much to end the pandemic. But sa simpleng batas lang, na umiwas sa mga social gatherings, may mga nahuhuli pa rin. Nagpupunta sa mga bars, nagpupunta sa mga sabungan, Nagkakaroke at nagiinom pa sa labas. Social well-being acknowledges the importance of promoting a positive mental outlook and preventing problems before they arise. 
Next slide, please. Some examples of cultivating social well-being or social health are the following. Number one, we are asked to practice self-care. It begins with observing proper hygiene. I remember a friend of mine. Ito by, uh, by accident lamang nakwento niya. Sa sobrang in love niya siguro sa kanyang girlfriend. Pati yung toothbrush ng kanyang girlfriend ay ginagamit niya. Kasi according to him, he's able to express his love if she use if he uses the things he uh, uh, she loves thou well nako naman wag naman po sana no nako lalo na sa ngayon please lang po magingat po tayo lagi kailangan po maging malinis tayo sa ating mga katawan i think that is the time that we should pamper ourselves with so much loving care to our bodies it's a temple of God, so let's take love, or rather, we should love our body. It's because we are in. It's not because we are in vain. Kung kailangan mag-apply ng mga kung ano ano mga moisturizer before we go to sleep or before we go to bed, let's do it because we know it too well. Hindi magdadry yung ating mga skin, no, lalo na sa face. Okay, alam natin, excessive dryness could cause uh, skin diseases. And bukod pa doon, madali ka pang tumanda. Okay, so the next one, number two, na know the self. Let's know our strengths, limitations, our talents, and let people know about this by showing them, of course, not to show off, but to let them know that we can help share our talents and skills with them. Do not criticize, judge, or blame. Alam ko si Sir Jet may kwento dito. Ang sabi niya, meron daw siyang isang kakilala na pinubuli ng mga kaibigan niya. But in the end, sa story, yung mga bumubuli, sila pa ang nailigtas ng binubuli nila. Tama ba ako, Sir Jet? I still remember this story of yours. Okay, next. Own up to your part and take responsibility. Nobody's perfect, right? Sometimes you make mistakes along the way. Go ahead, own it. But make amends. Learn your lesson from your mistakes. You need to stand corrected, and eventually, after owning this mistake, you will even develop the wisdom, and the more you will be able to make good decisions and develop good judgment. Next, rekindle old friendship and rekindle nurture. Nowadays, it's not so difficult rekindling old associates. Through the social media, it's so easy for us to be connected. Yung ating mga long lost friends can easily be contacted through Facebook, Messenger, etc. No? Uh, okay, we can always do this while we are enjoying in the comfort of our own homes. Next slide. A lot has been said and written about the effects of COVID-19. And certainly everything will point out to this six-letter word known to so many as stress. When pronouns in its past tense form and spelled background, what do you think it will become? Again, stress, when spelled backward, backward, backward rather, would give us the word deserts. Kaya naman daw po itong stress na ito, ay pang matamis lang daw sa buhay ng tao. Kung ang kinakain mo ay nakakaumay, kasi pare-pareho, hindi ba madalas nagahanap tayo ng dessert? 
Ganun din naman sa buhay ito, mga stress can break the monotony in our lives. Next slide. Sir JC, please. Stress, according to psychologists, is a type of psychological pain. Small amounts of stress may even be beneficial and even healthy. If a positive stress motivates us to do good and perform better, Stress sometimes would help do our best to attain what we want to achieve in our lives. You see, the more we are stressful, the more we are motivated to do better. However, during this time of COVID-19, the pandemic makes it easy for us to catastrophize and spiral out into overwhelming panic. It could take an emotional toll especially when we are already living with an anxiety disorder. We feel we're stressed out because we feel anxious and we worry about our own health and the health of our loved ones. We were made to believe that COVID-19 is a silent killer and we will really know when we are already infected with the virus. How can we ever have an effective learning if the facilitators of learning or the tools for learning are truly problematic? So psychologists warned us that any unresolved crisis or damage from the crisis can create trauma. Next slide. So may mga manifestations, ano, itong stress. Una -una, fear. According to studies, fear is highly associated with stress. It is a natural and powerful human emotion. Fear alerts us to the presence of danger or the threat of harm, whether the danger is physical or psychological. Ang dami natin kasi mga takot sa buhay. Para sa ating mga teachers, ang laki ng takot natin ngayon sa panahon ng COVID-19. Takot tayo magkasakit, takot sa mga online classes, dahil di tayo mga sabi sa technology. Takot gumawa ng mga online learning lessons. Takot gumamit ng mga iba't ibang mga platforms. All this become a threat to us as educators. And truly, it affects our skills as facilitators of learning. Naalala ko tuloy yung isang pinaka-veteran naming teacher. Sa tagal ng panahon na siya ay teacher, just imagine 30 years. Ngayon, she's being threatened. And she feels like she would like to retire. Kasi according to her, mahirap makiayon sa mga learning modalities na napapanahon ngayon. Paggamit lang daw ng Zoom o Google Meet, MS Live, at ano-ano pa mga video conferencing platforms para gumamit ng synchronous at asynchronous learning modalities via Google Classroom ay sumusuko na siya. Nakakatroma daw talaga according to her. Talagang hindi siya sanay sa technology. Next slide. After fear, nagmamanifest din itong sleep deprivation. Naku, napakarami sa atin. Ano? It's not because na hindi tayo makatulog, pero napupuya dahil sa kapapanood ng mga, what's this, Korean telenovela. Sleep deprivation or sleepless test is the condition of not having enough sleep. Generally, sleep deprivation may intensify. And what are these? Aching muscles, memory lapses or loss, depression, headaches, increased blood pressure, lowering of immunity or increased susceptibility to illness, and also irritability. I'm talking about irritability, uh, rather irritability. Okay, so 
Can we have our next slide, Sir JC? Okay, irritability or magagalitin, pagtamayamutin. Ano pa mga ano dyan? Madaling mainis, no? Irritability is associated with a number of mental health conditions. It is a defining characteristic of any mood disorder, such as bipolar, depressive, and disruptive mood disorders. Many factors can cause or contribute to irritability, and one basic fact is that of life stress. An article featured in the medical news today and reviewed by Dr. Timothy Legg described irritability as a common emotion. However, he revealed that extreme irritability can sometimes indicate an underlying condition, such as an infection or diabetes. People may experience confusion or difficulty concentrating, excessive sweating, rapid heartbeat, and fast and shallow breathing. Next slide, please. Another is this increase, in, rather increased use of tobacco and or alcohol and other substances. COVID-19 has caused insurmountable psychosocial impact on the whole mankind as caused by the quarantines. There are surge of addictive behaviors, including alcohol, smoking, and even substance addictions. This has caused an added public health threat aside from the virus. During the pandemic, people have the tendency to depend on something that will make their time pass. Pampalipas ng oras. Ang paalis daw ng kaba, Pag nainit, iinom, maninigarilyo. Kapag kinakabahan, iinom, maninigarilyo. Kapag dalulungkot at may problema, iinom, maninigarilyo. At iinom pa ng pinagbabawal na gamot. Okay, so next slide, Sir JC. Another is depression. Depression is a mood disorder affecting more than 264 million people worldwide. It is characterized by persistent feeling of sadness and loss of interest or pleasure in previously rewarding or enjoyable activities and even anger that interfere with a person's everyday life. The causes of depression include complex interactions between psychosocial, emotional, and biological factors. It is important to realize, however, that feeling down at times is a normal part of life. Sad and upsetting event, which may happen, especially during this difficult time, may bring us down. But if the symptoms of persistent sadness loss of meaning to life, may experience depression. And without proper treatment and attention, the condition may worsen. Next slide. So how do we now understand depression? To simply understand depression, I was attracted by a quote by Emily Dutterer. According to her, Having depression is being in an abusive relationship with yourself. Don't you think so? Okay, so next slide, Sir JC. Let's not talk about uh, the mental health cases, statistics. Okay, there are 9 million cases of mental, neurological, and substance use disorders. 3.3 million are suffering from anxiety disorders. 2.6 million are depressed. In the 2016 data of suicide rates in the Philippines, 
around 3.2 deaths recorded related to suicides per 100,000. And among these, 1.9 are females and 5.8 are males. Ano kaya ang dahilan? Ano? But mas maraming nakakaramdam na magpaalam sa mundo ang mga kalalakihan at ang mga kababaihan ay lower ang mga cases. Well, of course, we know it too well. Ang mga babae, napaka very expressive yan. No? We can easily talk to someone. Unlike ang mga lalaki, it's so hard for them to open up. So, next slide. Suicide is an act of an individual, rather an individual taking her or his life. One of the effects of mental health illness and the third leading cause of death beating cardiovascular and neurological diseases. Okay, so pumapangatlo, no? Pumapangatlo ang suicide. Number one cause of suicide is depression. Sumusunod lamang ang bullying and then trauma. Okay, so next slide. Another statistics or another data would show us that the cause of death for youth ages 10 to 24 is suicide. 90% of those who completed suicide had an underlying mental illness. Approximately 50% of the students ages 14 and older drop out of high school. In the 2018 survey of first-year college students in eight countries, 35% struggled with depression and anxiety. Okay, so next slide, Sir JC. So how to deal with the negative effects brought about by COVID-19? Okay, so let's not talk about with how we can cope with all these negative effects. The Asia Society Philippines has compiled a lot of possible safe tips for taking care of our mental health. However, there were so many of them, and I purposely chose the simple yet vital ones. I only chose six, which I think will easily work to every one of us. Number one is to stay connected. So even if in self-isolation, it is important to stay connected. Checking in on family, friends, colleagues, and neighbors, especially those who are in need of extra assistance via phone or social media. Staying connected also includes spending extra quality time with loved ones. Having someone to talk to can be very helpful during days that one can find overwhelming. Social distancing is a misnomer. The real call is for physical distancing. The effect should be for social solidarity. Next slide. After staying connected, comes next is engaging in healthy activities. There are no rules to honing in on your pace. Healthy activities can include your personal rituals of taking care of your physical health and hygiene. It may be in the form of light household chores, like fixing and managing your surroundings, establishing daily routines, all within the bounds of social distancing, of course. See these temporary moments of isolation as opportunities to create new routines, that are still productive and rewarding. As you can see in the picture, how you can spend time with your family and loved ones. You can do some gardening, perhaps baking, and so many other healthy activities. Next slide. Okay, the third is taking breaks from breaking news. So why is this? We all want and need to be informed and updated. That comes with regaining our sense of control. But recognize that information overload can also add to anxiety. 
manage your anxiety by catching up on news at specific times of the day. Make it part of your routine and not the routine. Next slide, JC. So you should know how to breathe and stay calm. Scientists, the government, all nations and sectors working together advise us that we should give ourselves a starting point to breathe. Literally and figuratively speaking, breathing sustains our lives. Hence, let us take a deep breath and remain calm. Okay, so next slide. Let's not talk about interventions. Okay, so next slide. So what are these interventions that I can possibly suggest? Well, number one is this mindful exercise. COVID can make us feel helpless. We can regain our sense of control. And how? By focusing on things that we actually have control of. Our body, our thoughts, our emotion, control our body. So we can practice some conscious breathing exercises. Take time for meditation. So in the screen, uh, you can see a sort of parang box. No, it's a it, we call it a box breathing. You can try this exercise. Okay, so begin by touching your left chest. Maybe uh, you can start now, everybody. Let's touch our left chest and listen to your heartbeat. Then breathe in air, inhale, and hold. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, hold, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Okay, so this is just a simple exercise. No, it's a breathing exercise, but it will truly help you a lot. You can do this for five minutes and it will help you relax and attain the serenity in yourself. Okay, so there is a physiological explanation to this according to some medical experts. Medyo nakakatulong daw ito sa ating lungs at sa ating heart, no? Okay, so it's a must for us to do this. Okay, next slide. So another mindfulness exercise. Focusing on your strengths, the qualities of what you're good at. Your creativity, perseverance, judgment, fairness, curiosity, appreciation, love of learning, gratitude, hope, faith, forgiveness, love. Okay, so a lot more. There are benefits when you focus on your strength. Again, focus on your strength. And you will feel more positive. It will build your character, and it will also increase your sense of worth and self-efficacy belief. Next slide. Okay, so another mindfulness exercise. Increasing your positive emotions. Positive emotions normally provide a buffer against depression, and physical and mental illnesses. It increased problem-solving ability and creativity. Next slide, Sir JC. I really don't know if you're familiar with this PERMA. So this PERMA is a theory of well-being and happiness of Martin Seligman. PERMA stands for one, as you can see on the screen, positive emotions engagement, 
relationships, meaning, achievement. All these are elements of well-being. It makes up the good life. So it's really called the good life. Positive emotions, examples of these are happiness, joy, hope, inspiration. They are vital for anyone who wants to lead a happy life. The next one is engagement. Activities that you love doing where you lose track of time. Next one is relationship. The first few relationships with your family, friends that have all impact on your well-being. Likewise with a relationship with your boss. Good relationship. Imagine if you have a bad relationship with your boss. It will put you 25% more risk of experiencing heart attacks and high blood pressure. Now the next is meaning, purposeful existence. Have you heard about true happiness? According to my role, you a psychologist, true happiness comes from creating and having meaning in life. Most of the time we have people and their lives because they no longer find many in their lives. Wala na raw kahulugan ang buhay, kanya gusto na raw niyang mamatay. Ito yung madalas na sinasabi ng mga nasasawi, no? lalo na sa pag-ibig. Kaya paborito nilang kantahin yung what am I living for, if not for you. Okay, the next one and the last is achievement. Achievement helps to build self-esteem and it provides a sense of accomplishment. It also strengthens self-efficacy belief. So that is what we mean by PERMA. Okay, now next slide. Okay, so let's go back to the positive emotions. How to increase positive emotions? Number one, just there. Learn how to be grateful because gratitude means an affirmation of goodness. Matuto magpasalamat. Ano kaya maramdaman mo kung may tao kang tinulungan yet that person does not even know how to say thank you. Nakakasama ng pakaramdam, no? Tsaka nakakasama ng loob. Next slide. Okay, this time it's hope. Webster Dictionary gives us the definition of hope. Hope basically is a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. No one doubts that COVID-19 is one of the confusion. It's one of, rather, of the most dire threats we have ever faced. Yet amid this anxiety and confusion, we should never lose hope and a sense of solidarity. It is the spirit of global togetherness that gives hope. Amidst the pain that we continue to endure, we should find comfort in the stories of hope as there are a lot of recoveries despite the so many cases reported anyway. It's true naman. Kahit sabi napakaraming mga nagkakaroon ng cases, let's look at those figures that says marami naman nagre-recover. So that's hope. Next slide. After hope is happiness. Happiness, according to Seligman, the author theory of PERMA, authentic happiness has three distinct kinds of happiness. The pleasant life, or known as pleasure, the good life, or known as engagement, and the meaningful life, known as belonging. The first two, the pleasant life and good life, are subjective. And the third is objective. All this three becomes an authentic happiness and allows full a life, a life's life that satisfies all three criteria of happiness. Next slide. 
Okay, uh, how to obtain happiness during this pandemic. These are all self-explanatory. Number one is do random acts of kindness. Random means something that is not planned. Yung hindi mo ba sinasadya na gumagawa ka ng kabutihan? Kasi iba yung pagka sabihin na mag-donate ka ng pera sa simbahan, that is something that you plan. But random is that thing when you do without you planning it. No? Kaya nga tinawag na random. An example of this is, ano ba naman yung pag kumakain ka ng masarap, naisip kong bigla, yung kapitbahay mo pala, baka walang makain. So maybe you can share some of your food. So that is one example of random act of kindness. Next is gratitude. As I mentioned earlier, yung pagpapasalamat. Saying thank you or stay safe, even in the social media, ay napakaganda na yun. Madal madalas nakikita ko, nababasa ko. Okay, stay safe, stay healthy. Okay, so it's just one way of, you know, saying thank you rin. Parang gratitude, okay. Mga kind words. Next is maintaining healthy practices. Being mindful. Uh, dito sa mindful na to, we are open to the reality of the present moment without judgment, avoidance, and oppression. There is a balanced perspective rather than exaggerating. An example of this is when something upsets you, you do not react negatively right away, but you try to find the reason why you should be upset after all. Or when something painful happens, you try to think that it happened for a certain reason. I remember of a quote and I quote, no? sometimes good things fall apart so better things can come together. Okay, next, number five is maintaining social connections. Since you cannot go out to visit friends, again, turn to the social media. You may text them or message them instead. Okay, number six, apply strength in a new way. Do not stop to look for possible skills, talents, and abilities. Number seven is exercise self-compassion. This is my favorite. Self-compassion has three components. The first component is the loving kindness. Next is common humanity and mindfulness. It simply is telling yourself to be kind. Love yourself. Do not be cruel to yourself. So this is what we mean by self-compassion. Let's not also blame ourselves when we commit mistakes. Because there is no one perfect in this whole wide world. Everything happens for a reason. Do not judge yourself. Learn to let go and move on. And finally, learn to forgive. Forget and forgive. Okay, so next slide. Sir JC. Okay, so allow me now to present to you a video, okay, uh, Sir JC? Secret for long and happy life. Pakinggan po niyo to. For a long and happy life, number one, eat half. Yun. Diet. Yung kinakain mo, hatiin mo lang yan. It'll be long and happy life. Mare, kaya mo isang lechon, kalahati lang. Mga ganun. Ganun ba? You know, a lot of our sickness is because of the food we eat. Number two, 
Walk double. Hello, exercise. Walking is good for the health. You know, I was sharing kanina with Father. We have an auntie. She started walking at the age of 65. Up to now, she's still walking. We don't know where she is. Please call us, huh? Okay. That brings me to number three. Laugh triple. Tumawa ka. Some of you have not laughed for one month already. Kahit walang nakakatawa, kahit pag-isa ka lang, go ahead, tumawa ka. Eleventh commandment. Don't take yourself too seriously. That's your problem. You have problems? May Diyos, oh. Don't forget. In my most difficult moments, I said, Lord, bahala ka na sa akin. And I know He was there. You must trust God more and worry less. Pinapahirapan mo pang sarili mo at yung kawawang mga tao sa paligid mo. Have you forgotten what God said? I am with you always. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And don't doubt that you are loved by God. Pag pumasok po yung doubt, si Tanin na yan. Mahal ka ng Diyos. Maging sino ka man. Kahit ikaw ay bad boy, maging puso mo ay sinungaling paminsan-minsan. Habang may buhay, ikaw lamang ngayon at kailanman. Ikaw naman di na natuto. Ikaw pa, I love kita. Tayong last pala for a long and happy life. Love without measure. Ang problema marami sa atin, hindi tayo makaforgive. We cannot let go. Pag masyado kang mahigpit sa sarili mo sa iba, my God, you're very upside. So what do you need to learn? What does the movie say? Frozen? What does it say? Let it go. Let's sing it. May iba sa inyo isang taon na hindi pa kumakanta. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Speaking words of wisdom. Let it go. One more time. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Speaking words of wisdom. Let it go. Babig nang nag-shift. Let go. Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, mag-let go ka na kasi. Let go na. At alam niyo yung kailangan sa buhay natin. M-U. M-U na? Move on. Yan ang kailangan po mga kapatid. So you have just heard and seen Father Jerry Orbos. So uh, he shared with us the secret of the long and happy life down. Okay, so. So JC, can we go back to our slides? Okay, just to have a recap of what Father Robo said. Uh, you might possibly have had a difficult uh, listening to him, no? According to Father Jerry, one of the secrets now is by eating half. He even uh, just said, kung kakain ka raw ng isang buong lechon, kahit kalahati lang pwede nang kainin. Okay, tapos yung walk double. 
Mag-exercise. Okay, laugh triple and don't take life seriously. And the last one, sinabi nga niya, forgive. So, kumanta nga siya, no, let it go, let it go. So, let go and move on. Okay, so next slide. We're about to end. So, for uh, brief synthesis, let's go back. The effects of COVID on mental health is certainly increased stress and anxiety. And the manifestations are the following, fear and worry, sleep deprivation, irritability, increased use of tobacco and or alcohol and other substance, and depression. Next slide. How to combat these negative effects brought about by COVID-19 by staying connected, engaging in healthy activities, taking breaks from breaking news, be it and stay calm. Next slide. So, paano makakatulong naman yung mindfulness? So, I gave uh, examples of mindfulness exercise, no? One is by box breathing, another is focusing on your strengths, increase positive emotions, focusing on gratitude, yung pagpapasalama, yung pag-asa, at yung happiness. And last one is just feel happy. Sabi nga ni Father Jerry, mukhang matagal na tayo hindi tumatawa, tumawa tayo. Okay, no? Huwag lang sabihin na Tawa ka ng tawa, baka sabihin, naluloka. It's not bad. Okay, just feel happy. Okay, next slide. Okay, so let me just end with this quotations, no? It says there, if you are thankful and grateful, every morning as you wake up, happiness would come out within you. Happiness depends upon ourselves. It is an individual creation that cannot be copied from a recipe. Okay, so let's all be happy. Next slide, Sir JC. Okay, so for my references, okay, Karamihan, I got them from the websites and some from books. Okay, so next, my way of saying thank you for joining me and for listening. Okay, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Oh, yes. Hello. Ayan, JC. Ayon, magandang gabi po at salamat po, Mami Belen, sa iyong magandang presentasyon. And I'm pretty sure that everyone would like this. Lalo na yung mga nanood ngayon sa very simple po ang pagka-explain ng topic. Ayon, okay. JC, thank you very much for very the support. Very extensive. Ngayon po ay bukas tayo para sa mga katanungan. Opo, kaya wag po kayo mahiyang magtanong. Type in your questions, a comment box, and then... We'll read them all. Okay, wa kay mahihiya because questions are good questions if they're about our topic and if they're meant to expand our knowledge. Kaya wa kay mahihiya. Pero sa ngayon, JC, i flash natin ang lahat ng mga greetings upang ma acknowledge ang lahat. Ayun. Wag po natin kalilimutan pala ang attendance. Ayun. From Roderick Amlang, trust God more in the midst of the storm. Ayun. At sino pa ba? Sige, pakita pa natin ang iba. Yeah, sige. Ayun. Thank you, ma'am. Sabi po ni Maricel Enriquez. At saka, i-flash natin na mabilis, JC. Mukhang may magtat... Mukhang may magtatunong... Apa... Talaga, ang dami nagpasalamat. Diyos ko po, ang dami. 
Kung may katanungan po kayo about anything about the topic, don't be shy because it's it's good to share. It's good to ask. It's better than pretending to know. <laughs> yeah. Sabi ni Ed, Brian, Anastasia, thank you, Dr. Chu, for sharing yeah, overflowing so positivity in your discussion. Thank you. I'm glad that you really yeah, appreciate it. That's what we all need. Just come in and ask, why are you so long to get the vaccine? Just go. What's the DOH? That's it. So, many people are very thankful to us. And to you, to JV and JFER. That's it. Yeah, thank you very much, Miss Grace. Uh, yeah, thank Sino you, Miss Grace. And, uh, yeah. But sino pa ba, JC? Pakita natin, sino? Si Miss Fatima para onda. Nako, Miss Fatima, it's normal. Just be happy, Miss Fatima. It's normal. Mary Jean Sabado, tamang tama Sabado bukas. I appreciate you, Dr. Chu, for the informative and inspiring topic. Yon, tamang tama Sabado bukas. Yeah, exactly like it. Paano kaya matutulungan ang taong na wala ng loved ones dahil sa COVID? From Miss Wilma Urbano. Oh, di ba? It's a very good question. Kanina sabi nga natin, there is always a reason daw. Okay, di ba? Laging sinasabi yan. Sabi, when one window closes, another door will open. Okay, so buksan natin yung ating mga pintuan natin. Ayun. Meron din si Ms. Maricel Caluyo. How to cope with joblessness sa new normal. Any suggestions? Just keep on looking for a work. Siyempre, hindi tayo dapat huminto, no? Sabi nga natin, hope. Laging nandyan yung element of hope. Okay, so, stay positive. Sabi nga natin, stay positive. Makakakita ka rin ng tabaho. Ayun, kay Zini. This yeah. webinar, webinar is very popular. Thank you, Zini. Yes. Sino pa? JC, marami pa yata. <laughs> marami pa yata. Ayun, nagpapasalamat si Miss Maria Cristina Manzano. Thank you, ma'am, for this informative session. Yeah. It'll help us teach Teacher, how we deal with Maria Cristina. Thank you. Sino pa bang magtatanong? Parang meron tayong may tanong ba dyan? Ay, sandali. Ayun, si Mark Nico Pinola. Thank you very much, Dr. Belen, for lightening the spirit yeah. of those who are hopeless. Thank you, Sir Mark oh, Nico Pinola. From Mark Nico. Uh, JC, paki-flash yung tanong ni Ms. Diana Kalayag. How can we achieve true happiness? Uh, Paki-flash lang, JC, at ito'y katanungan ng marami sa atin. Oo. Sa katunayan. Ah, gaya ng sinabi ko, kaya masyado tayo kaninang theoretical, no? Pero we can also be practical. Kasi sabi nga gano'n, nung PERMA, di ba, yung theory, na which I presented to you earlier, sumatotal ang sabing gano'n, Lagi lang daw tayo maging positive. Okay. Hindi ba? Yun ang laging sinasabi. Think positive. Think positive. Ay, si Ms. Jesus Joy Garcia. How to help a friend po na nawawala ng pag-asa sa buhay. Oh, parang di pa sapat daw ang mga advice. How are we Siguro kailangan niya the power of many. Yeah, Jesus, ah. Teacher Jet, how can... Uh, I think I gave you my number, my phone number, maybe. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't know Ayun, how I can pass it. So, uh, uh, ano, pwede ko bang i-announce ang number mo? Yeah, please. 
I'll appreciate it. No, if you can. If, if okay, you can I'll announce the number. Yeah, uh, based on my personal experience, I okay see super okay see mommy Belen. So here is mommy Belen's number, and uh, and please take take this down, uh, especially for those who are wanting to talk to somebody who can listen, who can understand, and who can give empowering advice. Pero before that, si Ron TV. Paano matutulungan yung mga nanay na mag anak hindi makalabas makahangout dahil sa lockdown okay dami yan what a joke <laughs> paano matutulungan yung mga nanay na mag-anak what, what does it mean with that mga nanay na may anak. hindi makalabas may anak. makahangout dahil sa lockdown Uh, saan kaya si Sir Ron? Can you possibly clarify your question? Mm. Ayon, si Mark Nico ay may katanungan. I'd like to ask po kung ano message ninyo sa mga may anxiety, depression, at nakaralanas ng violence dahil sa pandemic. Yeah, As, aside from those, yung mga mindfulness exercises na sinabi natin na it will help you, no? Lagi lang natin iisipin yung great, yung gratitude. Pagkagising sa umaga, isipin na lang natin yung life, no? Nagbuhay pa tayo. So that near alone, pag inisip natin na buhay pa tayo, isang malaking bagay na yun. So it's already a blessing. Blessing na yun, di ba? Uh-huh. Yeah. Pwede ko po ba i-plug ang number ninyo? The number of Miss Belanchu is 0933-813-7980. Second time around, it's 0933-813-7980. Yes, I will you can text her anytime. They can call me My question to Ms. Aze is really cool. How are we going to deal with people who don't, who don't like you and make you feel that you're nothing, that you're worthless? Okay, so um, at this age of mine, no, uh, there are some experiences I, you know, I, I encountered. Pag mayroong mga tao na hindi ako gusto, I really don't mind it. What's important is gusto ko siya. Okay? Sabi nga natin eh, you can always kill a person by loving him. Okay? Diba? Kung ayaw ka niya, just let her, let him. But still, you can still like him naman eh. Just go, go on. At there will come a time na matututunan ka rin yung magustuhan. No? Magugustuhan ka rin. Mm, may baka si tao mapagalala. Mm. Mm. Sino pa bang may katanungan dyan? Kami natin lang lose hope. Oh. Lagi nga natin may pag-asa. Be patient. Magpakita ka lang sa kaya ng kabutihan, he will soon realize or she will soon realize na deserving naman pala na magustuhan ka niya, na maging kaibigan. Tanong ko lang po ma'am, paano bang gagawin sa mga taong hindi po tumatanggap ng paliwanag ng iba? May mga ganang tao na yeah, Ayaw let's try understand them. Let's always understand them. Kung yun ang kanilang personalidad, maybe yun yung acceptance. Let's accept them for who they are, no? Talagang ganun sila. So, it will always come from us yung talagang pangunawa. And there, are there any other questions? Before we end the session, Sina Ba. 
Are there any other questions? Uh, oh. Uh, well, if there aren't any questions, maliban na lang kung may sisingit pa, ay gusto po naming pasalamatan ang lahat ng mga manonood for being there, for taking notes, if ever you are. If not, that's okay. This is always on demand. And thank you very much, Mommy Belen, for your time and expertise. It's a pleasure. And your it's a pleasure. Compassion for and all teachers. Yeah. Yes. And I would also okay. like to thank our staffs, especially Giancarlo de la Cruz, Hazel Landero, and Abby Resurrection for their support and love. At ganun din sa ibang mga staffers, pero sa ngayon ay nasa kanila mga bahay sa pagat sila na lockdown. Din. Yes, we would also like to thank our President and CEO, Mr. Jaimer Spiritu, for making everything possible. And of course, the, the speakers past and uh, present and the future for making this webinar very successful and sustaining yeah, and sustainable. Yes, on behalf of all the speakers and on behalf of the staff, I'm Mr. Jet Ramos, and once again, please not forget the following announcements. First, you have to sign. You have to sign in the attendance sheet. It's the link is down there. Yeah, we're going to we're going to close it after the webinar. So, pumabul na kayo ngayon hanggat gusto niyo, hanggat kaya niyo. Second, our certificates will be given within two weeks because uh, there's a lot and uh, there are a lot of attendees and. Third, please don't forget our webinar series every Friday, but there's an exception. On the 31st, it'll be at 9 a.m. because our speaker is an international professor, a math teacher who's who's humble, who, who may be great, but he doesn't know how to turn back on his roots and on his family, on his on his alma mater, so he's he's one of a kind. Pero hindi ko manay pakikilala sa inyo. And uh, next week, ang ating seminar on the re on research practices, lana sa new normal, will be having the, uh, Mr. Bon Jovi Hajan, a senior high school faculty from Jose Rizal University. And by the way, please don't forget the passcode. Get it while you can. And so we would like to thank you once again for the success of our webinar. Good night, God bless you, and never stop learning because learning is there for as long as you live and for as long as there will be people who want to share learning. Instead of being a taker, be a giver too. Good night, and we love you all. Thank you.